Hi guys, welcome to the Tech Trick YouTube channel. Today is the second lesson in the Adobe Illustrator. Content creator, Krishan Gaga and Tech Trick. Today we are creating this brush. First, if you have a photo of the brush you want to create, import it into the Illustrator. To do so, go to File and then click on the Open and select Brush Photo and press Open. Now it is open, next it drag and drop to your document. A photo of this brush is linked to the description, download it. First, get the rectangle tool or click M letter in the keyboard. Now draw a rectangle like this. Go to the left color box and choose the black color to fill the drawn rectangle. Get the selection tool now. Or press the letter V on the keyboard, then press Alt on the keyboard and drop and drag to duplicate the format we just pulled, like this. Now make it as small as we want. Hold down Alt on the keyboard again and drag and drop to duplicate the format we have drawn. Enlarge it now, as I do. Now go to the Shapes tool and choose Polygon tool. Draw a polygon, like this. and get selection tool. Move the drawn polygon shaft like this. And duplicate it, press alt and drag and drop. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Now press Shift key on the keyboard and select Polygons and Third Rectangle Shape. And go to Pathfinder and click Divide. Now go to the selected section and right-click and press on Group. Now we can remove unnecessary parts. To do so, select the unnecessary partition and press the Delect button on the keyboard. Get the Rectangle tool now. Now draw a rectangle like this. And get Selection tool. Now click on the Alt button on the keyboard and drag and drop the rectangle like this for duplicate. Do it again. Now select the three rectangles in the underlying format. Like this, you have to get rid of those parts. Click the Divide in Pathfinder. Now go to the selected section and right-click and press on Group. Now select the three partitions you want to remove and press the Delete button on the keyboard. OK. Now we need to create these shapes. Next get the Rectangle tool or press the letter M on the keyboard and draw a rectangle like this and get selection tool. Now click on the Alt button on the keyboard and drag and drop the rectangle like this for duplicate. Do it again. Do it again. Now, duplicate a previously drawn shape. 
Hold down the Alt button on the keyboard and drag it down. Get the Zoom tool. Or press the Z letter on the keyboard. And zoom in little. And get Selection tool. Final drawn rectangle, smalling for we needed size. Zoom out 100%. And get Selection tool. And click last drawn shape and hold down Alt on the keyboard drag and drop that shape for duplicate. Hold down the shift button as we want to move along the same line. As well as, we can drag and drop that an arrow key on the keyboard. Select the duplicate shapes. Hold down the alt button and the shift button and right arrow key and move to the right. Continue to do the same. OK, now delete the unnecessary partitions. Now select fully the draw design. Next, go to the brushes tool and click new brush. Choose pattern brush and click OK. Now go to the colorization and method change to tints. Click OK. Now the brush is created finished. Now, let us see how to use the brush we have created. Ended of lesson 2. In lesson 3, I will teach you how to make another brush. Now you can watch a trail video there.